Welcome aboard the Yuma Wonderful Community from the briefing through you've clearly seen. We are going to be seeing how to demonstrate this kind of beautiful scratch that we got and how I am able to transition using scratches. So you see, when it comes to scratches, there are some basic things you really need to know as a DJ, especially whether you are using the keyboard or the controller or whatever DJ software you are using. These key things are very, very important that you really need to practice because when it comes to scratches, you need to understand that it's all about the movement of your platter, which is forward or backward. So this forward is a clockwise movement and a backward, which is also an anti-clockwise movement. And this clockwise movement is done to cover a particular distance and a particular speed. So the, let me pose this. The sound output is going to be affected by a lot of features, especially if you are just scratching. I've had a couple of complaints of people saying, okay, they are trying some kind of scratches, but it's not giving them exactly what they want. One thing you need to know there is when it comes to scratches, the low frequencies don't usually give very good sound output when it comes to scratches. They give you a kind of vovovo kind of sound, while the high frequency gives you a very nice, beautiful scratch. Take a look at this particular sound we are having here. We have the, I'm going to perform a baby scratch using my letter and look at it. So you can clearly see. You can clearly see. So it's going forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. The complete circle of the forward and backward is referred to as a baby scratch. While just a half, which is the forward, is considered as a stab scratch. So look at it. So we are going to introduce a pattern, but let's get to see this difference first. As I've said, you can see the output of the low frequency and even your Q point really matters. So when you set it, make sure you give a slight gap at the beginning. If not, it's going to, it will not give you a kind of beautiful sound output. Whether you are using the controller or even a virtual DJ or Serato DJ, record box, pool DJ, acid, whatsoever DJ software you are thinking of. Because when you put it on, on the sound, it's going to be a morphing kind of sound. So make sure it is giving a particular space where it is actually hitting the bass. It's just like you have an, a, 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 a stick you are hitting. If you are hitting the tip of using the tip of the stick to hit the drum it will give you a very nice sound but if you are just using the body of the stick to hit the drum it's going to give you a much more lower frequency which is a morphing sound that is the same principle that is also applicable here when it comes to scratches on virtual dj or serato dj or record box or even your controller whatsoever dj device you are using so this is it for the low frequency let me switch over to the second deck that is the first deck for the high frequency you get to see can see very nice beautiful sound output there that is really giving the vibe and we are going to do a little demonstration now i'm going to be doing remember it's about repetition of a process so when you are scratching it means i'm going to be repeating the baby scratch look at it that is so that is for the baby scratch so i'm going to be doing it sometimes you do it twice then you drop the song look at it so the speed at which you move it will facilitate the way in which the sound will come out. That is why I say this my mapping is well calculated. Um, it's not just a random. You have your two fingers that will do the job. The two are here, the L and the L. Sorry, the L and the N. So when you go it, this one is taking it two times. Then you come it two times. That is So you run it twice. That is two baby scratch, then one drop, two baby scratch, one drop. Then if you can decide to play around with it, freestyle with it the way you want, by playing around with it with the number of times and also the speed. So you can see how beautiful it is. Then if you want to freestyle and maybe have a blend of the baby scratch and the stab scratch, you go with the control L, look at it. So don't worry whether you once your hand your finger is on this it goes to a stab scratch it automatically switch and gives you a kind of stab scratch using the same letter l 
that is why i cannot be giving this mapping in pieces you really need to get a complete pack so that is how beautiful it is just take a look at the little style i'm going to do now so you can see how beautiful it is that's how interesting it can be so i believe you really enjoyed it i'm putting in more content in regarding this aspect of the scratches i'm going to be showing some other setup that you really need to adjust subsequently in my next video and a couple of videos that will be coming up so let's get to enjoy it once again so when you do that you use your letter h to drop the sound if not if you drop and you leave it this letter n to start the song and to stop it except you hold it for a long period of time because it is there is a mapping that takes care of measuring the timing how long you drop your finger on this when you didn't reach the particular time when you leave it it will stop but when it gets to the particular time it just allow you to roll so thank you for being there catch you as you continue to enjoy this Yeah, now you the focus, 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 focus. Send me at the drive, 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 focus. Send me at a drive focus. Send me at a drive focus. Send me at a drive. Send me at a drive focus. 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 Send